Hey love, welcome to the Shy Love Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, and Spotify Premium. The Shy Love Radio Show is sponsored by Shy Love LLC. The owner of Shy Love and the founder is none other than myself, Melanie Hogan. I hope all is well with you. Today we're going to discuss the baby and Danny Lay's brother's altercation. It was a hot mess. Of course, it went viral. Most fights do. But this one in particular was ridiculous, but funny at the same time. Now, this altercation occurred because the baby, there was an incident between the baby and Dan Lee last year sometime. It was shortly after she had given birth to their daughter, where he went live to show him uh, being very disrespectful, very demeaning, and trying to put her and the baby out, and his daughter out, in like the wee hours of the morning. So, he called the police on her. In another video, he had a female family member there. So, wouldn't it be obvious that her brother or somebody that loves her would speak up on her behalf? And that's what happened. Brandon spoke up. He took to social media. And a lot of people feel like You know how certain parents be like, if you cut up in public, I'm going to get on you in public. And a lot of people walk by that code. They're going to handle it right then and there. You have others that realize that certain times or certain places is not conducive for handling certain situations. But everybody don't think like that. And then, like I said, the baby is the one who made this whole situation public by going live. So he talked, you know, cash money. Cash money. And he said that the baby was going to have to catch a fade. He even indicated that he wanted it like one-on-one. Okay. So some time goes on. Instigators, you know, had him in front of a camera again asking him about the situation with him and the baby. And he stood on what he said before. We then see a video, you know, sometime after that, of the baby and his crew coming into a bowling alley and attacking Brandon. Now, they were slipping and sliding and swinging all over the doggone bowling lanes, okay? That, that was a ridiculous, <laughs> that was a ridiculous fight. The bowling the bowling lanes whooped everybody. The bowling lanes is who really won. <laughs> the bowling lanes took the took this fight, okay? Because everybody was going, everybody was slipping and sliding. So you see them punching them and grabbing them in here and everything, and it, it was just really ridiculous. So. It's like on one hand, like I said before, this was a public situation. And it wasn't just a public situation, but the baby is considered like a high profile type of person. And he has the image to keep. And one thing about him, even if you don't know too much, he is apparently about that life and don't think twice about it. 
So that's how he handles his situations anyway. And then not only that, when people tend to see that somebody else can disrespect you or hurt you or, you know, anything that's on a lower vibrational level. If people see that they can, somebody else can got away with that, a good 9.9 times out of 10, other people are going to come and see what they can get away with. Now, I want you to understand that this shows your character. It shows that you're weak. It shows that you're a bully. So, I digress. But nevertheless, some would argue that a situation like this had to be dealt with in the manner that it was because of you know the the threats that went out but what boggles my mind is that people are forgetting that the baby is the one who is accountable and who is responsible for this entire situation have you ever heard of not making a bad situation worse And that's such an entitlement when you feel like you can disrespect someone and disrespect a mother and disrespect the mother of your child and then do it publicly and nobody is supposed to respond in a manner to come up against you. Sometimes you could be so talented because I like some of the baby songs. I don't know too many of them. But I like a few of them. You know, he, he does what he does. And he has a, a, a nice little performance presence and all. But character-wise, on a personal note, after you have walked away from the studio, it's a thumbs down. And this type of behavior is reinforced by the support from others. Because people amen in it. People still messing with them. People, you know. Same thing like with the whole R. Kelly thing. Character wise. I'm like who you are as a person. That's thumbs down. And you should not have yes men in your face. It's always good to have somebody around who going to call you on your mess. But a lot of people don't like to have those type of people around. They need someone to feed into the image that they have developed for themselves. And now, if the baby did have somebody who was able to call him on it to catch his attention, to make him think about it, he wouldn't be facing prison time. And, of course, he is presenting himself like he doesn't care. You know, it's not a big thing. He do this, whatever, whatever. Uh, He's had court cases before. But it's it's a real strong indicator of poor poor character. Poor character. And all the money in the world cannot equate to quality character. You know, I just really feel like I understand that when it comes to the streets, you know, people do things different ways, have different codes. Nah, not this day and age. Not this day and age. It ain't too many doggone codes. It ain't, it ain't no, it seems like it's no code. If it is a code, it's like a minimum code. 
there is definitely no honor. You know, there's a way to do things even if your lifestyle is street. You know, I really feel like Danny Lays and the baby's daughter should have been considered in this situation. Because ultimately, she's the one who's going to be really affected by it because she's going to love her daddy and her uncle. And the family story should not include daddy beating up, daddy and his friends beating up uncle. That's going to make the holidays awkward. It's going to make the, the visits awkward. And then the internet's so crazy, somebody else apparently made a fan page for her, her daughter, for their daughter. And people were getting on the, the daughter's fan page. Telling her how her uncle got beat up by her father. You know, that's ridiculous. Nobody thought about the domino effect behind something like this. And the baby behaves exactly as he is titled. Just like a baby. You have to be mindful of what people refer to themselves of be, as outside, especially outside of the name that their parents gave them. Because that name that they go by is a point of insight into a part of their personality. So it's like, can we really be surprised that he's, you know, uh, going live in a very personal situation? I mean, my God, she was in the bed with the baby, feeding the baby. He just straight flicked the camera on. But should we be surprised that somebody named the baby will behave in such a manner? I know a lot of people do not like the idea of getting older or getting old. But at the same time, especially street people feel like it's a blessing. Like they don't even be expecting to get past 16, 18, 21, definitely not 25. But there is a maturity that needs to happen. Like, you can still be youthful and have a certain level of maturity. There are certain times where you have to do what you have to do. And that's just the bottom line. But a lot of things can be dealt with differently than what they're being dealt with. There is an entitlement to where people feel like they can do whatever they want to do to people and there will be no recourse. But what people don't understand is the more that it seems like you're getting away with it, you're not getting away with it. You just... I don't want to say tightening the rope. I'm a, I want to say... You 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 fall in, you're gonna fall deeper and harder than you realize. You're gonna fall deeper and harder than you realize. Because every day that you open your eyes, that's the day to check yourself. That's the day to work on healing yourself. That's the that's the day to work on elevating yourself. That's the day to love more of yourself. That's the day to correct, you know, mistakes or 
hold yourself accountable for you know what I'm saying whatever is going on and then make start to make the necessary changes if this is not something that you want to be a part of you and it's like everybody is always going in on the kids and they do what they do I'm not taking away from that at all but it's like when we become a certain age at what point are we going to start to show them that there's a time and a place for popping off when are we going to show them that you can make your point and, and make your bottom line, give the bottom line without making a bad situation worse. Like this Peter Pan syndrome. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. You got Tinkerbell to sit there and kick it with you all day, but she a fairy. You a whole boy. At some point, that boy going to grow up to be a man who going to need a woman and not a fairy. A lot of men, like his behavior, really shows some type of anger towards females like a, a sincere lack of respect a sincere lack of respect and then you don't even honor yourself enough as a man the baby or whatever as an adult version of yourself to cut ties with anybody and anything that's going to make you have to disrespect them like that. See, there are certain points of no return. Especially if whatever the other person is doing, not doing, have the situation is going, has you coming up out your body. Has you constantly on the defensive? Have you having to feel like you have to protect yourself? Why are you still staying? Why waste your time with anybody, and I mean anybody, who you feel like you're going to have to disrespect back or be on guard with? Everybody always talking about life is too short. Is it really? Because obviously we got time. We got time to still engage in toxic mess. mess. We got time to lower our own vibrations to match something else and over and over again. You ain't just getting this. It, it ain't a necessary move. And then something like this case right here. If that if that was the bottom line to where her brother Brandon said, you know what? Ain't no talking this out like you must. Like, like we have to do this. Like this is the only apology I'm going to accept. If that was the case, then it definitely should have been a one-on-one. -on -one. It definitely should have been a one-on-one. -on -one. Especially because there's his daughter involved and there's his niece involved. There should have been no outsiders. Unless it was necessary for the outsiders to step in. But everybody, both both parties, even though Brandon had no one to help him, but the baby should have said, 
this, you know, somehow. Even even though y'all don't like him, y'all connected through blood. This family business. They should not have intervened. And it's like, I know, you know, you want to put the message out there. You know, don't, don't, if you don't want, if you don't want none, won't be none. But there is a way to still handle situations. Even if they had to fight, they should have just did a one-on-one. But something else that I don't like about this situation is one, this entire altercation stemmed from the incident between the baby and Danny Lee shortly after she gave birth to their daughter. And him disrespecting her and him exuding his control over her and him letting her know where she stands with him. And who runs it? So, what type of message is this that he is sending to her? That no one can help you, not even your brother. Because, yeah, I did what I did to you. Your brother called himself trying to stand up for you, but you see what happened to him, right? And whoever else feels like they're going to step up you know what I'm talking about? In that order. Not only that, I could see him trying to talk her into talking her brother out of pressing charges by using manipulative tactics like, I'm not going to be around for my baby. My, my baby going to miss me. But this is the same man who was putting her and his baby out in the wee hours of the morning. Or if I'm in jail, you know, I got money, I got money, but I'm, I'm going to be missing out on more money. And you know, I, you know how I like to keep my baby. I want to take care of my baby. So you use that same baby that you did not consider when you was causing pain and turmoil and confusion in her mother's side of the family. You use that same baby to help make sure that you and your side of the family is still good. We must realize, we must realize who we are dealing with whether it's boyfriend, girlfriend, friend, uncle, sister, brother, child, mama, daddy. We must recognize the signs. We must save ourselves. Society has poisoned the message of society when it comes to relationships poisons the soul yes it's going to be times where there are disagreements yes there might be times when you pissed off but that's a difference between a pattern of just toxic behavior over and over and over again and I'm going to tell you a little bit of how, why it go like that Because, see, both parties could be wanting to actually be together. And every time they break up or bump heads about a situation and then get back together to work it out, one party is thinking that the other party is going to change. The other party is thinking, okay, you back, so that means you accepting me for who I am. Even though I, I'm hearing you, I'm, I'm seeing what it's doing to you, I'm, I'm hearing what you're saying, I'm seeing that you're saying you don't want to do it, but you still here, so you must be willing to accept that this is, this is what it's going to be. And if you want 
anything to change then these are the rules that you must follow there are a lot of abusive relationships and it doesn't always have to be physically mentally emotionally spiritually financially it's different forms of abuse it's different forms of manipulation that's a form you know of abuse it's one of the tactics of the abuse you don't love nobody that much to where you are sacrificing yourself it's already a shame that you got people who are trying to sacrifice you they already trying to sacrifice you and in essence by you continuing to deal with it you low key signing the contract to sacrifice yourself because especially after you start to see you start to see certain key points that are not changing you might see some of the changes in other areas but like the core stuff certain stuff that like this is it the potential to change don't even matter no more it should not matter anymore because the person has already established a comfortable pattern of chaos This is a an unfortunate situation. I mean, thankfully nobody died, but if you're going to, if you know that you're not going to do what it takes to maintain a re- healthy relationship with whoever in your life, have enough courage and gumption to dismiss yourself. But I also understand that that's some of y'all purposes. That y'all made that into your purpose. That's, that's not why you was created. You weren't created to do that. You chose and made that your purpose. And when a person is consciously hurting you, Consciously disrespecting you, consciously publicly embarrassing you. That's no love. That's not love. It don't matter what they go behind closed doors, how they go behind closed doors and apologize. How they go behind closed doors and try to make it up to you. The first behaviors. The initial behaviors that built up to the apology later is really what it is. Especially if you're starting to see a pattern. So before we close this show, I hope that you all's Valentines are healthy loves. People that learn you to love you, not learn you to burn you. And for those who are still blind and cannot see ocean, but I can look on the other side, somebody can tell me what ocean that I got. I'm both ocean and the other side, pump pump, but I got somebody can tell me what ocean that I got. I'm both ocean and the other side. And remember that we love y'all. And happy Valentine's Day from the Shiloh Radio Show, Pop Radio Worldwide, iHeart Radio, Spotify Premium, and check us out on YouTube. Hugs. Love.